All right, YouTube, so we are back, of course, to talk about some Final Fantasy VII Remake. And what we're going to talk about today was a video I was going to make two days ago, but obviously the patch came out for Remake, and that was a much more important topic. And something I've been wanting to talk about for the past couple of days, but I didn't know if it was worth its own dedicated video, but it kind of coincides with what we're talking about today, is that, like, Square Enix hasn't really addressed the patch. And I know it's just a measly little, like, 140 megabyte update patch, whatever, for Remake, but it's weird that they haven't, like, talked about it. You think, like, they'd announce it just for the people out there who may not be aware there's a patch for the game. You think they would tweet out from the Remake account, the Square Enix account, the Final Fantasy account, something? Because it's a big talking point right now. If you, like, look up anything Remake-related on, like, Google, for example, like, all you see over the past couple days is just, hey, it got its first patch after six months. That's what a lot of people are talking about and focused on. It's weird that they themselves haven't even discussed it. But on top of that, if you go to the Remake account, which is usually relatively active, at least every day, every other day or so, they're tweeting out something. They haven't posted on Twitter in a good, like, ten days almost. It's very weird to me as somebody who's been following that account for more than a year at this point. I have notifications on them for whenever they tweet. I know how often they do tweet. It's weird that they haven't posted in more than a week, man. Like, ten days? It's a long time for them. And it's kind of strange that that's happening while we're getting our first patch for the game. It almost feels like they're preparing for something, right? Like, they've been silent for a while. The game's getting its first update randomly after, like, six months of it being out. And it may be nothing, and that's part of why I didn't want to make necessarily a dedicated video about this topic, but it feels like there's something in the works. I don't know exactly what. And that's where today's topic comes into play, and it might relate to what we just discussed. We have over on Reset Air, Nobtra, who's a, kind of an insider. He knew some of the stuff that was going to happen with Final Fantasy XVI and the recent PS5 event claims that there is a PS5 version of Remake in the works. So first off, they say a PS5 upgrade has been in the works for a while. Not sure when it is happening, but should be pretty soon. Somebody then asks, will there be a PS5 remaster version or will it be a free upgrade? And he responds with, I'm not 100% sure on this, but from my understanding, it's a PS5 version, not a free update. And it's kind of hard to know exactly what it means right there. Some people are taking it as him saying that there won't be like the free upgrade that you're seeing a lot with next gen where if you already own a game on PS4, you can get it for free technically on PS5. So the implication there would be that while there might be a PS5 version in the works, you'd have to buy it again as opposed to getting it for free like a lot of us were thinking and kind of hoping. And unless the PS5 version comes with new content, maybe they added on some like end game stuff or just maybe they bring some cut content back into the game since some people talk about that. I don't see myself rebuying it. Like, I'm not just going to rebuy it for the full, you know, $60, $70, whatever it might be potentially. Just for the game to look better, because for me, the game doesn't have a lot of replay value. I know that some people play the absolute hell out of it, and that's perfectly fine. But for me, it's not a game that I just play in my free time. So I'd just be buying it on PS5 just to kind of own it. That'd be really it. But yeah, if a PS5 version of Remake has the updated visuals, obviously, and it comes with some additional content, I would almost definitely get it. And some people talked about on Reddit that apparently some companies out there, even if they're not offering the free upgrade, if you already own it from this current gen, you can still buy the game, whatever it might be, on next gen at a discounted price. I don't know, I haven't personally heard about that, but if that is the thing, then there's a chance that if you have to rebuy the game for PS5, it may not be the full PS5 game price. And bringing the video full circle with how this relates to what we talked about near the beginning of the video is that some people think that the patch we got is actually prepping the game for the PS5, like cross-compatibility. Which I do think is a possibility. This was a random patch nobody was expecting. They didn't talk about it beforehand. They haven't talked about it since it came out. It's also a relatively small patch. In the modern era, whenever a game gets an update, it's usually for one gigabytes, but at the very least, it's like uh, hundreds of megabytes, right? This was this random, weird, small patch that came out, you know, half a year after the game's been out. And it just so happens that we're exactly, as of today, three weeks out from the launch of the PS5. And this was such a small, measly, almost meaningless update and patch that they could have done at any point throughout this game's life cycle. This is an update they probably could have put out at any point, but it just so happens to be coming out right before the PS5 is going to launch. There's also the chance that this patch we got for Remake is exactly what Novcher was talking about, but maybe he had his information kind of incorrect from whoever gets the source from, because he posted that on Reset Era on Saturday, which was the 17th. The patch didn't come out until the 20th, so that's like three days after Novcher was saying there's a PS5 update of some sort coming out for Remake. So it is possible that maybe he thought, based on whatever his source might be, that there was going to be a PS5 version of the game, but instead maybe it was an update for the PS4 version to kind of prep it for the PS5. I don't know, man. There's a lot of possibilities here, a lot of questions. I do think it's weird that we got this random patch out of nowhere, right? I think it's weird that the Twitter account hasn't addressed it, or like, you know, the Square Enix account, the Final Fantasy account, whatever. Nobody's talking about this update the game got. Regardless of how small and, you know, relatively insignificant the patch itself is, 
It's still the first patch the game's ever got you, so you'd think they'd talk about it. It's just kind of weird that they're not. And while Remake does have a one-year exclusivity when it comes to the PS4, we've only ever based that on the box art, right? And if you actually look at the box art, all it says is PlayStation exclusive, play it first on the PS4. So there's really nothing there implying that the game couldn't also come out on PS5 sometime before the actual date is up, because all it says is PlayStation exclusive. PlayStation 5 would still be a PlayStation exclusive. It also says play it first on the PS4. Well, we did that when the game launched back in April, right? We played it first on the PS4. So it feels like there's a way that they could kind of play with the wording a bit, and the game could still very well come out on the PS5, maybe even this year for the holiday season, try to push sales of the PS5. The thing is, we've always kind of assumed that the game had a one-year exclusivity deal with the PS4 and the PS4 alone, but what if that's only for the current-gen consoles? We don't know the ins and outs of this exclusivity deal they have with Sony, so what if they have free range to drop the game on PS5 anytime they want to? I don't even see why Sony would want to stop them. They obviously want to sell as many PS5s as they possibly can. I don't know, just kind of some random thoughts here at the end of the video, my dudes. There's a lot of things you can comment on. We talked about a lot of different things here in this video. From this random small patch we got for Remake after six months to the possibility of the game getting a PS5 version that's going to be revealed somewhat soon. I don't know, man. Who knows what's going on? But I think we're going to wrap up the video before I keep on rambling. Just leave your thoughts on whatever you want to in the comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't new. We'll see more Final Fantasy VII Remake content. Turn on the notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the David. Add my Discord. Links to my social networks are in the description. And in the outro. Later, guys. Used to care what people thought. But now I care more. And nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like Coltrane, we in here. Like Logan, or leave it. Like Cobain.